What's good guys? It's Akin again. I'm back with another video. Just out here looking at the Kiki Palmer situation. You know, I moved out of the US in December. I'm in Africa now. And and ref looking in, it's a different perspective than being in the US. You have a different lens because now your experiences are different. Your experiences with life are different. Your experiences with men, uh, your mates are different. Your, your experience with women, dating are different. Um, with, with men, you get respect. With women, you get respect. With ch children, you get respect. With adults, you get respect and you respect them. And there's a different of hierarchy of things. There's a different way of life. There's a certain responsibility that comes with being an adult with a woman, with a man. So when I look in to the dysfunction in the US, it, it just, it makes me shake my head that you guys are still cohabitating. You're, you guys are still dating and being in relationships. You guys are still having children with women that you can't keep accountable, with people that you can't correct. It's very, very disgusting if you really look at it. I can't see myself dating someone that I can't correct, that I can't keep accountable, that I can't keep responsible. There's no way in, at this point in my life that I'll put myself in this kind of situation. But you guys in the US, in the matrix, are still putting yourselves in situation where you have zero control. You have zero control of how your children are raised. You have zero control of what you expect from a woman. You have Zero, you have zero, you have zero respect or expectation or responsibility when it comes to anything. When it comes to your children, when it comes to uh, your workplace, when it comes to anything, you have no power. You have no say so in anything. To the point where your woman can go out, wear whatever she wants to wear, disgrace you in public, and. You can't hold her responsible. If you do hold her responsible for it, if you post it online saying you are a mother, how dare you go out like that with your, with your behind, out, literally naked, behind, what is she? Did you see what she wore? Did you see what Kiki Palmer wore? She turned around and a whole, a whole bum bum in the back was out. Everything was out. A mother that this... This recording will be seen by her child when her child grows up with a baby father and a boyfriend that posted something about it and all these modern witches, all these modern women, especially in the black community, are going after him and not holding her accountable. Anytime someone wants to hold modern women accountable, especially modern women that have a certain kind of responsibility to hold, a certain kind of respect that she holds for herself, they say, well, she can wear whatever she wants. She's a mother. She deserves it. She deserves to go out. Nobody said she can't go out. Nobody said anyone can't go out. But the fact that you guys are in the matrix watching this video right now, still dating women that you can't keep accountable, Still having children with women that you can't correct and lead is indespicable. And these people are famous. These people are famous. These people are supposed to be the face of the community. And this is how your community is presenting themselves. This is how the women are presenting themselves. What do you think other group of people are thinking about this? What do you think, what do you think other countries are thinking about this? Because... There were some comments when I showed this video to some African women. They said they would never go out like this. And these women were in their twenties, single, didn't have any responsibility as a as a girlfriend or as a wife or as a mother. They said they would never go out like this. I said, Why wouldn't you go out like this? You you you're free to do whatever you want. They said, Yeah, but also if my dad sees this, I'll be in trouble. If my mom sees this, oh I'll be in serious trouble. Uh, if my pastor sees this, oh, I'm, hot. that means that I'm I'm living a double life. I'm not I'm not a Christian like I said I was. I'm not a Muslim like I said I was. If the whole society sees this, I will be judged as 
How dare you wear something like that out? Looking like a pro, a prostitute, really? I don't want to say the word because of Instagram. You can't, as a man, you can't keep living in a society where you have no power, where you have no say so. No matter how much money you have, no matter how famous you are, no matter how much of a high value man, even though I don't even agree with that high value stuff, you are, you have no power. You can't tell your woman what to wear. Your woman can't even think in her head I have a certain responsibility as a woman to not disgrace my man, to not, to not represent my child so that my child will be proud of me as a mother. I've never, like I've never seen women like this in other countries. It just doesn't happen. In Middle Eastern countries, it doesn't happen. In Southeast Asia, in Asia, it really doesn't happen. Send me the videos. If we could see a video of a woman, a mother, like that, going out like that, please send me the video. I bet you you don't find any. Right? You going out like that and your boyfriend supposedly is keeping you, trying to keep you accountable saying, hey, you're a girlfriend and you're a mother. How dare you go out like that? And not only can you not hold her accountable in a society, you have other women against you as well. Meaning other women are just like her. Every woman, those women keep saying she can do whatever she wants. She can do whatever she wants. She can wear whatever she wants. She can do whatever she wants. But if this boyfriend supposedly cheated on her, oh, they won't be saying he can do whatever he wants. They'll be like, oh, all men are dogs. All men are trash. Oh, he, he's, he's a baby father. He's a deadbeat father. He's a father. How dare he step outside of his relationship? There's certain responsibility that you have to have as a man in the Western world. But when it comes to women, you can't keep them accountable. I don't see how you guys are still sitting in the United States looking at these dysfunctions and saying, oh, I'm a, this, is not, this is not my concern. I'm just going to stay here. There is no way you can be in a certain, you can be in a certain relationship as a man and not be able to enforce some kind of accountability for yourself, for your significant other, especially if you have a kid by her. Now she's supposed to carry herself in a different way, knowing that the kid could be bullied in school when that is pulled out, because that, that stays in the internet forever. No respect for the man, right? No respect for the man. You're shaking your bum bum in front of Usher, right? To the point where if Usher wanted to smash, he could have smashed. If Usher wanted that, he could have tapped. For her to go out like that, knowing she she's she knowing she's gonna see Usher, knowing she's going to an Usher show and wearing that, she wanted a certain attention. She wanted certain attention from other men apart from what she had at home. So it's a disgrace. Me looking from the outside in, me moving out of the United States, living in Africa, now for a couple months now, it's just, it's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you guys. Everything that happens in the matrix, especially from celebrities that are on top and trickles all the way down, and you guys just sitting there saying, oh, it won't happen to me. My girl won't do that. My lady won't do that. My wife won't do that. Yeah, she will. Yes, she will. Because she's online commenting saying, Oh, Kiki could do whatever she wants, and I'll do it too. If she does it, I could do it too. She was she looked good. She was sexy. Even even pros don't even wear that and go out and walk at night. Her whole back was out. Everything was out. Twerking, twerking for another man, dancing up on another man. Man, I feel sorry for you guys, man. I feel very sorry for you guys in the Matrix. You still haven't got it. You're still sitting there in your miserable ass job with this miserable ass woman, with your miserable ass dates. You have no power, you have no authority, you have nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing in the West. You have no kind of accountability for yourself 
no respect for yourself because you are dating and having children with these kind of women and you have no res and these women don't have no respect for you it's sad it's very sad and my solution to this problem you already know is to be a passport bro to be a passport bro is the, is the greatest gift you can give yourself working hard and staying in the united states is not the greatest gift you can give yourself working hard and leaving the West is the greatest gift you can, get, you can give yourself. Why? Because your reward on the other side is great. Your hard work gets paid off. You get respect from men. You get respect from women. You get respect from children. You get respect from the society. You get respect from the government. You get respect from everything, everybody around you, especially if you're, if you're a hardworking, high-value man that's working hard to be somebody, to be, to, to, to earn respect. You wouldn't have to chase a woman around looking for what she's wearing, what she's posting, finding out online, oh, dang, is this my, your girl's online? She already, she already thotted it up. She's a three or four. You have your kid at home, but she's out there with her back out about to get her back blown out by some random guy and other women are supporting this and bashing you for trying to keep her accountable. I feel sorry for you guys. Get your passport, blue book gentlemen, passport bros, get your passport and get the heck out of Dodge. That's my word for you today. If you don't get it, you will soon. Peace.